Smash. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, it is the GameCube Super Smash Brothers controller for the Wii U or the actual GameCube, which I have in the background for this reason. Uh, I was at Best Buy today and I saw this was the last one they had in stock, so I went and I picked it up and I thought I would do an unboxing video for you guys. For those of you who don't know, these are limited edition kind of things. I guess they released it because they have released a Wii U adapter for your GameCube controllers for Smash Brothers for those of you who aren't in the loop. So they have released the GameCube controller Super Smash Brothers Edition. I can't do the Smash announcer quite as nice as the actual Smash announcer, but we're going to take a look at the packaging before we open this up. So first we have our, you know, what I've shown you like six times now. It shows the controller, it's black, apparently. Kind of a boring blurb saying the same thing on the side, stating that it is the black one. So I guess there's other colors, although this was the only one that they had in stock, so I didn't have an option. Uh, bottom of the box, it's got like your, uh, safety and sales information, nothing really important. There's a barcode. I don't know if you guys can use that. Have fun with a barcode. Um, huh. Obviously it comes with one controller. Yes, thank you for telling me that. I thought it would come with 12. Um, <clears throat> and it says, the classic Nintendo GameCube controller is now updated and optimized for playing Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. On the Wii U system, requires connection via the GameCube controller adapter for Wii U sold separately. The ergonomic design, competition length extra cord, built-in rumble, and flaming Smash Brothers icon completes the specially designed Smash Brothers edition for the tiniest Nintendo GameCube. So even if you just have a GameCube and you just want a longer cord, you don't have to get a wave bird now, you can just use this. Alright, so enough farting around, we got our Nintendo seal of quality, let's actually open this box here. And because there was two versions of Smash Brothers, I had two scissors. Meet Mr. Snips and Mr. Snips Jr. Let's get at this box here. I don't actually think there is any tape, so I... Whoop. Sorry. Okay, I'm trying to... This isn't really the best uh, stand for this, but I'm trying to have the camera on a stand so you can actually see what's going on while I try and pick and <clears throat> get at that package. This is... I don't think I'm going to be able to save this box, unfortunately. Yeah, this box is, uh, well built. I have no qualms with the build quality. I have qualms with the fact that I keep shaking my camera because this old laptop stand is not very good for stable camera work, apparently. Probably because it's on wheels. Good job, me. You well thought this out really good. I'm gonna put this in the back for a second. There we go. Box open. Pull it out. There's a uh, one of those things that uh, set off the electric lady deal at your uh, retailer. Okay, so it comes in this blue bag like this. We got our uh, instructions, I guess. I don't know why you need instructions on how to play GameCube. What does this say? The other R buttons are pressed uh, over the control stick and C stick move out of the neutral position when power is turned on. These positions will be set to neutral position causing inconnect game control during gameplay. <laughs> what? Oh man. Oops. That is so terrible. Okay, I'm glad I read that now. So don't like be farting around with your joystick and just start your Wii U. Oh god. Alright. So, we'll pull this out of its package. Yeah. Oh, yes. Feels really good. Like, oh man. I've hold, held a lot of game controllers. This is a nice kind of like a... Uh, I guess you would call it matte? Finish? It's just... Hmm. It's... It's actually like the texture of the GameCube itself, I'd have to describe it. Oh, man. I think... Yeah, it's kind of like a rough, coarse texture. Almost like this laptop stand that I'm using here. It's my stand. So, and it's really good. It feels really good, even for GameCube. And the logo is nice and impressed. It's obviously not a sticker. It looks really good. I think it will actually last 
which is what we want. They were not lying on the cord though. Oh man. Actually, let's go test this out. We're gonna gonna put this cord here, and we're going to unwrap my cord. Okay. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Hold on a second. Ah! Yeah, cord. Grr. I'm using one of these old flip cams. And why it keeps falling over so much? They don't have a proper stand for it, and they've never been very uh, stable. But it's better than trying to use a 3DS for a camera, which doesn't really give you very good quality. Man, this thing's long. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it into that GameCube. I put it in the background, which I was just using as a prop. I didn't even know this thing was so long. And we're gonna see how far this goes. Plug it in. You get a sweeping panoramic view of my room. Oh man, this is so long. My little bedroom, I can nearly reach the door and take my GameCube outside of the room. That is intense. Look at how long that is. So. The usual complaint for GameCube cords is they're too short. They are far too short to use properly. N not a problem. Just look at this. Look at all this cord. Look at all this cord. I could play jump rope with this cord. I wouldn't play jump rope with this cord. That's a bad idea. So, bottom line, even if you don't have a Wii U system, I would actually recommend getting one of these. This is really nice. Let's feel with the buttons. Clicky, clicky. It's not okay. Here's a bit of a problem. If you're playing Sunshine on this, this uh, isn't nearly as sensitive as the uh, old GameCube controllers. Actually, I have a GameCube controller. Let's give it a look. See here, got our GameCube controller, our old one. I guess it's about as sensitive. I've been using kind of the messed up controller for a bit, I guess. A button. Oh, this one's kind of rattly, so that's not a very good... <clears throat> that's not a very good control. Okay, A button feels the same. B button feels pretty much the same. This is kind of like, you know, like I was saying, this is a really smooth finish. This is sort of like a textured, grippy finish, which is, ooh, feels really good. Y, X, pretty much the same. C stick, same. D pad feels nice. D pad feels nice. Start button, kind of smooshy on this one feels much more rigid on this. Start button is more pressed out, so it's easier to pause your game. Control stick. Well, this one's kind of worn down a bit, but yeah, definitely up to quality. And the other shoulder and the Z button, which is same. It's basically the same controller, longer cord, matte finish, cool little crest. That's all you need to know about the new uh, Smash GameCube controller. So bottom line, um... If you're looking for a cheap controller, or just a cheap GameCube controller, just go eBay. But if you're looking for one with like a long cord, or you want that nice matte finish, or even if you're just like me and silly and you like the little smash crest on it, I would definitely recommend this controller. It's very nice. It's very nice. It feels so good in the hands. It's got that cool logo from Smash 4, which I've been playing a buttload of on my 3DS. Plan on trying to get a Wii U so I can play it on that, as well as, obviously, all the other Wii U games. It's not the main reason I'm getting the system. Yeah. Uh... I don't know, I'd have to give it a 10 out of 10. It's, like, my favorite controller. And they just made the cord longer and gave it a nice matte finish and a cool design. 10 out of 10. Top notch. This is what we like. I'm Gearman, and that's it, signing off. Fun fact, if apparently it's possible to recycle your GameCube controllers. I was just checking through the instruction manual to see if there's anything else funny like the thumbstick thing. <laughs> so silly. It's like it's using Joy to key or something. Okay. Yeah, apparently you can recycle GameCube controllers. Or you could just sell them. I mean, if they're broken, you can probably find someone to repair them. Why would you recycle it? Uh, anyways, yeah, that's it.